guess what he doing? What? Trying to swim back to that shore, and he ain't make it back. So now you ain't got no choice but to learn how to fight water, nigga, because we not letting you make it back to shore, bro. You're not making it back mm. to shore. You think you're going to do this and then pop back out and go back into the industry and good? No, bro. No. No. This is not that type of game. You are in a game full of fucking titans, bro. We go in here to destroy each other, bro. Do you understand? We go in here to fucking destroy each other. Our intent is when we get in this ring, is, is the nigga on the other side of you? I don't give a fuck if you shook his hand before. Whatever, bro. Make him quit. Mm. Flip his <laughs> body upside down in this water and make him float, bro. This is our whole fucking objective, bro. So if you think that we finna, we finna, we, we, we finna chill, oh, because you Joe Buttons or because you J.R. Ryder or because you J. Mills and you assigned a young money, or, bro. We don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. We don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. None of that. Talk and you shit. can pick any one of us. You can go to the elites, bro. You can go to the elites. You can go to the vets. You can go to the ORGs, the originals, and you can pick any one of us, bro. This is why I respect Mook and Rex, bro. And because them niggas never left you. They never left. And when you when you ask Mook like, well, Mook, well, Mook wasn't bro, like I come wasn't battling it, bro. And Mook could tell you it wasn't that I left. It was that that money wasn't right. Niggas had to get that money on right. Once niggas got that money on right, what was it? Mook was right back up on the stage doing his motherfucking thing, you know. So it wasn't no quitting thing with him or a thing like, yeah, you know, I'm stopping. Or if you look at every interview since back in the day, bro, when they was asking Mook like, man, what's up? What's up, bro? Mook whole thing was shit. What's up? Tell them niggas to get the money right. If they get the money right, it's up. It wasn't no thing where a nigga just, and I understand. I understand Jay Mills. I understand J.R. Ryder. I understand Joe Buttons. Y'all look at us and y'all get hyped. Y'all look at us and get hyped and be like, damn. And that's what it do. Like, like shout out to y'all because that's our intentions too. We make motherfuckers hype. We make motherfuckers feel like, oh, I could do this. I could do this. Mm. And when they get in the ring and they actually get there and them, them, them guts in their stomach get to flipping upside down, the niggas get to throwing up and, oh, yeah, you ain't realize that it was like this, nigga. This ain't no, this, this, it hit different when you watching it on TV and when you right here doing it. Mm. I could say, I could say KD should have hit a nigga with the spin move fade away all day. Okay, clean, mm. cool. This is what we going to do, right? Next game, you going to come back there. I'm going to give you that jersey that say 35 on it. I'm going to give you them shorts that's your size, and you put them bitches on and go on that court, and you tell me what you would have did with Jason Tatum on you and your motherfucking face like this, a young, energetic nigga who ready to win this bitch. What is you talking about, bro? What is you talking about? It's different from hooping on the fucking street corner, bro, with them niggas. With, 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 with little poo poo and them down the street, and you calling them every day, yeah, bro, let's go up to the Considine, let's go up to the rec center and hoop. Oh, this some different shit right here, boy. This different. Damn, you in that NBA under them hot ass lights on that floor in front of millions of people, plus the people that's watching you on TV, and you shooting jumpers from distance like that and dropping them bitches, and the nigga in your come on, bro. It's different, bro. It's different. Tell me right now, bro. Tell me right now. A nigga can say anything all day. Tell me right now, bro, that you could put a jersey on and go on the court. And I used to hoop in high school. Okay, cool. You telling me I can put a jersey on and go on the court and guard Steph Curry right now? Hell no. Exactly. So just because niggas used to battle rap in high school. I just went to the shots from everywhere. Like. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. You not guarding that shit. Just like yeah. Jamie, just like just like uh, Joe Buttons and uh, Jr. Ryder, uh, Jr. Ryder. You know, are they not? Uh, you know who I want to battle and who I'm Mr. about to Fab, battle. Mr. Fab, Mr. Fab, you know, I want to battle. Mr. Fab, you might battle John. Huh? Okay, Fab. Listen, whoever think I told Uncasa this shit, bro. If y'all niggas really think that it's like that, bro, right? Get, I don't even got to be in this shit. 
I don't even got to be in this shit. Let's take the top. Let's take. Let's take, let's let's do five on five. You feel me? Y'all go grab Joe Budden. Y'all go grab Fabulous. Y'all go grab Jr. Ryder. Y'all go grab uh uh who else? Uh Crooked Eye. Go go motherfucker. Go get Eminem. We got somebody for him. Go get Eminem. Go get y'all top five industry niggas who think that y'all can step in this bitch and battle, bro. And I promise y'all, y'all gonna get obliterated before y'all fucking fans' eyes, bro. This is what's going to happen. I don't care who it is. I don't give a fuck if it's Kumo D, Big Daddy Kane, KRS One, Eminem, Fifty Cent, Joe Button, Lloyd Banks, uh, whoever the fuck from back in the day, y'all Cameron, any one of y'all niggas who think that y'all really with this shit, bro. I promise you, bro. Come on, and we gonna show y'all y'all really not with this shit, bro. Like y'all think y'all is. Talk. Mm. Mm. Damn. Okay, clean. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Because when they do that, bro, and let me tell you what that do, Cap. When they do that, that's downplaying our work. Mm. Oh, I could do that shit. They don't give us enough respect. Y'all want to jump up and say, "Oh, I could do that shit." I'm about to be a battle rapper. Why y'all don't shout us out when y'all do y'all interviews and shit? Why y'all don't never talk mm. about us and, you know, but y'all want to come in and, and jump in our lane, though, because y'all see that we got a lane and we doing this shit. Niggas like me, niggas like me is the niggas who help build this shit to be what it is right now, bro. You feel me? Yeah. I had the first fucking proving ground, bro. I'm one of the pioneers that built this shit to what it is right now, bro. Why you think I'm still doing it? My uncle sat me down and he said, clean. So you stopping? I said, yeah, bro, I'm going to stop. He said, nigga, how the fuck you going to help these niggas build it up now to where niggas is getting these big bags now and you just going to stop? Because see, what niggas got to realize is I grew up with me. You feel me? I grew up with myself. So when niggas would be like, bro, you need to start acting like who you is. And I'd be like, I am acting like who I am. And they'd be like, no, you're not. You know, and sometimes I got to smack myself and remind myself, okay, clean, you famous. You know what I'm saying? You fucking somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 it's your boy.